And now Martin is going to talk to us about Pulp UI. Martin, take it away. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Martin Angel, and I work on the Ansible Hub UI. And well, the thing about Ansible Hub UI is that it is a UI for pretty much Pulp Ansible and Pulp Container. So we figured, why not do a UI for the whole of Pulp, really? So this is a work in progress towards towards the goal. Right now, it's mostly just the old Galaxy code base with all the parts that needed the extra repo removed. So this UI will work with vanilla about OCI images. And it's still very much work in progress, but we do have something. So I'd like to take you through what we have right now, and then we can talk about like future plans and what everyone would like to see as per as like workflows and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a product mode. We have localization. We have login. Right now, it's using HTTP based authentication only. There is some work in progress to make it use the about uh, DRF uh, to log in using session cookie sessions. Uh, I think we're still missing like some kind of way of telling if we're locked in or not. Uh, you can log in using basic auth. We have some basic status screen which pretty much just tells you what the pop API status point tells you. Uh, we have repositories and remotes for Ansible, pulp file, and pulp container, though they are hidden right now. So you can you can create a repository, you can make the create a course create a corresponding distribution as well. You can add pulp labels and you can associate a repository with a remote. Um, Docker is not right for pulp and civil, but you get the point. Uh, we can also work with remote the same way. You can add remote. Some tokens, as I say, where else? Regarded files, whatever. All the like, practical fields should be already there. And You can you can inspect these for these remotes. You can set access access rules using pop part bike, although that part is not fully functioning right now. Uh, that repositories we also have like the content collection versions in the repository. It's in your APIs for now. You have you can work with repository versions, including reverting to the previous version. You can inspect distributions associated with the repo, and you could see collections that are networking. Uh, I didn't quite manage to add like a proper pulp file, upload the file workflow over the last weekend, but it's very much work in progress. We can have repositories on remote as well. For RPMs, right now we only have like a package list screen. But with including the repository link for each package, so you can use it to find which repository a package is in, given like a package name or version. Mm -hmm. uh, we have task management, where you can see all the past tasks in the pop system. If a task is running, you can stop it. You can inspect, inspect the details. Sometimes it's just these fields, but if there's like a parent child relationship, we can see it and click through. Let me see if I can find one, but maybe not right now. Anyway, you can also trigger some 
There's a task like you can trigger orphan cleanup. You can trigger, uh, yeah, repo repair, and you can branch all tasks. You can also inspect signature keys if you have any. And you can work with users, groups, and roles, and variations. And you can create issues and pull requests, of course, in a repo. Uh, right now, yeah, the, the repo exists in pub slash pub UI on GitHub. Uh, contributions are very much welcome. Issues as well, especially if you have any any like ideas of like what kind of workflows you would see or you would like to see supported. We have some plans to like make sure the Ansible and container workflows that used to work start working again. And we have some plans to add RPM workflows. But uh, yeah, if there's anything people would like to use, we would definitely like to hear about that. You can run you can run pub UI against any any pub backend as long as there is a pub slash API slash v3 endpoint somewhere. By default, it will try to connect to. Uh, yeah, localhost 8080. If you just run, if you just run npm install and npm run start from the pub UI repo, you can use it, and it's also part of the. Ah, it's part of some 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 pub containers. Um, maybe someone can fill in the details. And if you need to connect to like an existing pop install, you can just run with uh, API proxy environment variable set to point to that and it will use it. And uh, so as far as the containers go, I think we're we're not don't quite have it there. It needs this PR to be merged and then the nightly containers that pulp provides will have the UI available um, and you'll be able to hit it directly should you want to. Uh, I will say um, you'll those watching you'll have noted that Martin has put in a number of warnings about this is tech preview and things don't work. Um, and also on the login page, if you log in, we're going to store your credentials. And if you don't want that, then you probably shouldn't log in. Um, but we felt it would be better to put this out there for the community to have access to and start banging on um, and let us know priorities of things. So that's basically why we're trying to get it out there as fast as we can to let people start working on it. Uh, Martin has done a huge amount of work on this and has been very responsive. There's uh, Jared has done some work as well. I'll put the from the OCI environment for the developers in the audience. Uh, you can add a, a Pulp UI profile to your OCI environment and everything will just work. Um, and then you'll be able to log in and, and do exactly the stuff that Martin has shown here. Um, and that has been very useful as well. Let's see. Those are the two things I wanted to say. Other questions, folks? I don't know if you covered, uh, I don't remember. But is there any like search content uh, page in the in the UI? For example, on a user perspective, I think using a UI, the first thing I would like to do is to search content across the whole uh, pulp contents. I know that it's challenging because we need API for that, right? Right. But just want to bring this uh, on. Yeah. So we do actually have like something like that there's a uh, search screen oh yeah right now it doesn't work uh we do have a ui for searching across multiple 
multiple APIs for the same thing. It's just not, it just hasn't been updated to work without Galaxy APIs yet. Mm -hmm. But we will have to manually add support for like the other plugins. Mm -hmm. So right now, I think the closest to that is the RPM, RPM UI. Uh, just give me a second, I'll try to. Are you going to actually fill a uh, repository right in front of us? Uh, I think so, unless it breaks horribly. What are the chances in a live demo? I'm sure it'll work fine. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> yep. When yeah. I was telling one of our users about this uh, effort, um, the the first question they had was, is there going to be a search for content? Because um, their users who are consumers of these repositories are always asking the people operating Pulp, what repository can I find this package in? And they're constantly having to answer this question. And they want to make a UI available to their users to just go search it themselves. <laughs> So the good news, yeah, yeah, that's yeah awesome. it, it, it works right now. <laughs> uh, the, the filter is allowing you to start by, yeah, like contains only in the main field. And we don't have filters for the rest yet, but you can probably actually search manually or like yeah. So yeah, still work in progress, but if you actually know the API filters, you can search for it, I think, this way. Nice. Bruno? Yeah, so we just mentioned that recently I implemented an API on Galaxy for search that is a full text search over Postgres that can like search on across the whole uh, content in and maybe there's something that we can like reuse put somewhere in pulp or as a plugin uh it, it's not like very performative because it's just mm -hmm. like it's not doing indexing it's just like using postgres to during search time build the search index but it, it it's working good for galaxy with like forty thousand. Uh, call uh, roles and collections, so it's something that can be plugged in to have. Like for example, on the front page you have a, a search box, then you just type like "foo," and it goes over all the content and just tell you that I have "foo" on pop file, pop s, pop rpm. These are the places where it's possible to find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the the fun part is every content type has a way users think of identifying that content. Like for RPM, people think of name or Nevra. Well, Nevra doesn't mean anything to anybody outside of RPM. Um, everybody's got name somewhere. So that's the, that's the thinking we'll need to do on the individual pages to see how we can present this in a way that's most natural for the user of that content type. However, the more global one is, is going to be interesting to figure out how can we do a global search across widely disparate content types that may not have the same way of identifying their content. Um, interesting, interesting. So Martin, I'm gonna talk a moment here about the process that got us this far. Is that okay? If I if I share your talk for two minutes. Um, so Martin and, and Zita uh, came to us with this proposal of, hey, we've got this stuff that, that, that works and Pulp needs a UI and how receptive would you be to making this a standard part of the Pulp distribution? Uh, I can't even remember now, what, about two months ago, maybe? When did you do you remember when you first came to us with this? It was at the it was at the uh, pulp face to face at the beginning of September. So we went from nothing to the, to having this be part of the pulp 
the pulp organization and GitHub and uh, getting it into our containers and Martin doing all this work in about two months. Um, we had a, we had a working group whose goal was start from nothing and have something that Martin can show at PulpCon, um, which is where we are right now. And that working group has declared victory. Um, well, mostly we've patted Martin on the back and said, outstanding, good job, um, and closed down. And the plan going forward here is present this to y'all, which is where we are today, and start gathering some data from the community about what you'd like to see and priorities and who might like to work on this. Because the next step is to have possibly a working group phase two. What are the next steps over the next quarter, the next three months? And we'll be uh, uh, talking about that. We'll put up a, a thread on discourse. Anybody who's interested, uh, I'm going to ask, kind of advertise that now. It doesn't exist yet. It will before PulpCon is over. Um, ask people to chime in and say, yeah, I'd be interested in contributing or at least attending the working group meetings and help guide those. And uh, we'll put together a schedule because this seems to work for us. Uh, we'll put together a schedule, half an hour a week of where are we? What do we want to do? Who's got action items? And see uh, where we can get because the goal of the working group of the whole team, honestly, is to make rapid progress here. Uh, this is another one of those, let's get something that is up and running. It's not 100%, it's not perfect, it has bugs, it's suboptimal in a bunch of ways, but it works uh, and use that to guide our next steps. So that's the plan from the pulp side of things for the UI is uh, we have, we would like to see a lot more work done here and we'd like to invite the community to help us prioritize. And of course, as always, submit PRs <laughs> and do some of the work as well. So that's that's my advertising. And uh, before PulpCon is done, we'll have a discourse thread up and I'll advertise it here for people to contribute. Other questions? Sorry, but I'll be making questions. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Outstanding, Bruno, go for it. Yeah. So. Uh, from the user perspective, I think the search is the most important thing for me in the UI. Uh, but from the developer perspective, the task management is the place that I would like to have more improvement. Right now on Galaxy, we have the task management. Uh, we use it like just to see the status. But we, I have tried before to add more context to it, and it was like not very straightforward. For example, if you click to see the tail of a task. I would like to have more info there. Like I want to see the output for tasks. Like in if task fails, have more like debugging uh, or, or information. For example, if a sync is happening, uh, maybe I would like to see which package is being synced right in this place, which collection is being synced. Uh, so I know this info is possible if we do some kind of uh, the tracking, trace tracing during the sync. So we have like some kind of special method that reports back to the thread with specifics. Like for every collection we sync, we say, hey, I sync it full collection. And then it, it's available on, on this page so we can uh, follow. Yeah. So have you ever thought about it on the on the back end side of it so we can improve this this screen? I guess I'll, I'll right. go here. Um, so that will require. There's a couple of couple of, and this is just off the top of my head. And I know we're being recorded, so nobody assume this is going to happen anytime soon, or is even possible. Um, there are, I think, I know some of the plugins uh, log a per, you know, per. This is what I'm doing in their syncs. I don't know that all of them do. Um, getting it to the ui will be difficult because the ui is just a user the ui doesn't know about the database the ui doesn't know how to really get to logging the ui is just going off the rest api just like any other user which is great it's part of why as martin said you can run this ui anywhere as long as you know what pulp instance you want to point it to it doesn't have to be running on the pulp instance um, but it does make it harder to get advanced advanced features like that um, that would require things that that users of the API don't necessarily know. 
Um, I think this also um, kind of uh, is a good comment for the telemetry work because this is the kind of thing that maybe we could add as telemetry um, uh, in terms of you know that that view into what's the running pulp doing. Um, now, does that go into pulp UI or does that go into a Grafana dashboard? I don't know, but both the, there's there's multiple ways to look at it. My my completely off the top of my head thinking here is some of these more advanced topics that require insight into the on inside the server. What are you doing? Feels to me like a telemetry or a you know a, a, that that in that zone in that area, as opposed to the pulp UI work that Martine is doing, which is really how do we have a UI that lets you interact with the REST API without having to write HTTP POST calls. Um, so that, to me, that, that feels like that, a way of, dis, of differentiating between the two. But I'm not sure that's, not, that's really valid. That's just off the top of my head. I got a thumbs up from Bruno. I must be right. Uh, Marty, what do we? Do? I don't know what you're using to talk to the REST API. You're not using Glue, I don't think, are you? No, uh, I don't. Uh, it's just like hard coded list of requests. Or I can I can show you yeah. right now. It's JavaScript, right? Yeah, it's, it's JavaScript. Yeah, exactly right. It's pretty much. I think it might be a package. We yep. pretty much just tell tell the code that this is the you, API you, endpoint. You know. Yep. And off it goes. Yeah. Oh, some of those are longer, but you can put this stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is another note I'll make for the community is uh, Martin is a is a front end guru. None of the rest of us are really. And so Martin would definitely uh I think could use help from anybody in the community who knows JavaScript and how to do UX on that side of the world it would be very much appreciated. Contributors welcome, yeah. And yeah, like the the the, the good thing is that we have a UI that already does a lot of things. The bad thing is we also have a lot of technical debt. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> Outstanding. Other questions? Other questions? Anybody? Three and two and one. Okay, I'm showing us at seven minutes till. Um, we're going to give people a little bit of time. Do we have any lightning talks? Has anybody written anything down? Nobody wrote. Oh, Daniel did for Tuesday. Um, Brian, are you good for uh, yeah, questions I, on the telemetry? Yeah, I'm definitely good. Well, yeah, I'm definitely good for questions there. I do have like a little lightning talk that I just wanted to share. OK, um, cool. So I'll cool. put the title so on here now. I have it pulled up. Sounds great. So. Um, I am going to end the recording. Martin, thank you so much, you and Zita both for all the work, and Jared for all the work he's been doing on getting us into OCI Env and into the images, um, and hope everybody has a good time playing with this. Let me stop the recording. Thanks, everybody, for their support. Yeah. Outstanding work.